if you got 80% of women that's trying to be thoughts nowadays, for the 20% of women that still stand on morals, it make them look bad. But watch this. Let's get into this video. That's Let's get in. Why don't you just tell me who you're seeing? I'm not seeing anyone. Why are you asking? That's a stupid question. Who's Rick? It's your brother. I have a brother named Rick. Or your cousin or whatever. It's not my cousin. Why are you asking these questions? These are weird questions. Because you are cheating on me, and I was trying to see if you would come forward and tell Why me like a natural person. About? Okay, so those messages well, yeah. in your phone where you were saying, oh, I love you. Oh, this is the best I've ever had. Oh, man, I feel sore. Why are you oh, going through my I... phone? <laughs> Why would you be going through my phone, first of all, like that? Like Don't change, don't change the subject I'm matter. The don't subject. change the subject matter. Oh, no. Are you, are you, what are you yeah, trying to do? You extra, you're you acting insecure. Oh, yeah. Why are you going through my phone? There's no reason to do that. Well, listen. When you go through people's stuff, you find stuff you don't want to see. Oh, so now you're going to blame me for this then? I'm just saying you didn't need to go through my phone. Like, why are you going through my phone? And why are you... Stop recording. I want to stop recording. Oh, my gosh. Why are you oh, going through I... my phone? <laughs> why would you be going through my phone, first of all, like that? Like Don't change, don't don't change the subject matter. The don't subject. change the subject matter. Phone, no. are you, are you, what are you yeah, trying to do? You're acting insecure. Oh, yeah. Why are you going through my phone? There's no reason to do that. Well, listen. When you go through people's stuff, you find stuff you don't want to see. Oh, so now you're going to blame me for this then? I'm just saying you didn't need to go through my phone. Like, why are you going through my phone? And why are you... Stop recording. I don't have to stop recording. Oh, my gosh. You have to extra. Always been insecure. You know You know what? We're done. Done what? Like, this marriage is over. What are you talking about? This is for my lawyers. I, Why are you really? Yeah, just you gotta be petty like that. Why are you recording? So you're gonna gaslight me because you want you well, want to step on the marriage. Why five five years in this marriage, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you want to go you want to go fucking cheat. I mean, you're always working all the time anyway. So. Oh, so it's my fault. I wasn't. I wasn't cheating. I wasn't cheating. And listen, y'all go shop the merch right now. I finally. Found out how the baddies cheat. How the baddies that got a man cheat. I just figured it out. I just found it out. Y'all, I make these dating videos not off something that happened to me two weeks ago, three years ago. Not something that somebody told me. Not piggybacking off of women with women. Alpha male strategy, love Dorsey. Uh, all of those folks, steps too cold. Fix X Fearless, I don't piggyback off of none of them. None of my titles are the same. I don't talk about the same things they talk about. So I'm here to tell y'all, listen, be a out of town nigga. Be a out of town nigga. If you want to smash every girl that you went to school with, every girl that wouldn't give you no play, become a out of town nigga. Let me tell y'all, I was in my county for about the first 20 years of my life. Then I left North Carolina and went to Atlanta. Then I left Atlanta, came back to North Carolina. I came to a small county, right? This county probably had a population of about 5,000 people. At least 1,000 girls was bad. I must admit, 500 of them I probably didn't hit. The other 500, one of my homies didn't hit. You know how they go. You know how they go. But the other 500 that I didn't hit and the other 500 that they didn't hit, we was wondering why. Is it because they look better than the rest? Is it because they bougie? Oh, they got a boyfriend. Don't none of that matter if you are out of town, nigga. I'm here to tell you the power of an out of town, nigga. The girls that I used to write and then used to write me back, the girls that I used to, I'd never do that no more, but the girls I used to uh, give compliments and validations to that had just hit me with a T-Y, uh, T-H-N-X, they wouldn't even spell out the whole thank you. You understand? If they say thank you and put an emoji with a heart, maybe they got a little interest 
or at least they care for you, just won't feel stupid. But the ones that say thanks or TY or something like that, they don't give a fuck. Now I can say that I'm TY and bitches and T H N X and bitches. You hear me? I just did a bad ass bitch like that today. But with that said, let me tell you now. The three baddest bitches from my county, they were so bad, and they had men that was rich. It added up. They men was rich. They bad, so they loyal to their man, so ain't no use to even hollering at them. You probably in a 2015 Charger. This man is in a brand new Lamborghini. You dig what I'm saying? You probably at a little tiny house or at your mama's, this man got three or four houses. You got a fake business and no LLC. He got a real business that's booming. Y'all know what the fuck I'm talking about. Those type of girls. Those girls that got the blue chicks. Those girls that get 15,000 likes. You know what I'm talking about, those type of girls. Those girls I never even tried to get with because I felt like they was out of my league. No, I was just too close. Listen, you guys. I moved a month ago from my county. I moved, um, I moved, uh, I say about a month and two days ago, right? It was three girls that I always wanted bad, but I never approached them. They never approached me. Never. I may throw a shot at them and get a T.Y., but I'm like, I know why. You laying there with all that money. You got an alpha male, a nigga that got all the money, and you a bad bitch. You ain't got time to be playing like that. Why would you cheat and get caught up? That's dumb. That's why they don't. But when you become an out-of-town nigga, I'm not. I went 30 minutes away from my county. Girl number one got a boyfriend. I heard he buying bricks. Guess what she wrote and told me? I do a lot of my clubbing and a lot of my partying down your way. It seemed like you just moved down to beep. I said, yeah, I'm at beep. She said, can me and my girls come by sometimes and go to sleep because we be drunk. And plus we like, ah, 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 ah. Huh, her girls done been by several times because I'm an out of town nigga. And all of them got niggas. And when they get back home, they don't got to hear it. Why? Because I'm an out-of-town nigga. Your nigga can pull up five minutes down the street. Somebody can see you 15 minutes up the street. I, I went 30 minutes. Long as you got your location cut off and you ain't dropping locations and you ain't taking pictures and stuff, you Gucci. They know that. Long as you ain't doing no talking right now, them same girls send back. It been a week. I ain't heard nothing yet. Two weeks. They building trust. They building trust. So guess what? One of them came by themselves. The other one came by themselves. Two of them came together. All right. Now I'm finna end this video. Number two chick that I thought I couldn't get. Man, this girl was getting surgeries, BBLs, her titties done before women even had money. I'm like, how is this 20-some-year-old lady getting all this stuff done and you know, her baby daddy probably got about 100000 but he got that much for her to be on trips and all that stuff, so I never hollered at her. Bro, she wrote me and said, I'm having surgery in a couple of days. I'm going to heal up. Do you stay in beep? I'm not going to tell y'all where I stay. I said, yeah, I stay at beep. She said, word, well, sometimes can I come spend a the night there because my doctor is up that way. So do you mind if I come stay with you? Bit. I said, it wasn't me that was out of their league. I was just too close. But now I'm an out of town nigga. Get y'all to the third girl. This woman is married. A happy marriage. Her husband cooks every meal. He pay every bill. Everything she do, she make like $45 an hour. I ain't going to say what she do because I'm telling too much. A lot of haters that's from my county watch this. The girl is mixed. She's the beautifulest wife that a man could ever want. I never shot my shot at her. Why? They got the biggest wedding. They in foreign cars. They on trips. 
They get remarried all the time. I mean, this woman got to be loyal. Soon as I moved up here, within three to four days, I smashed her. She hit me up and said, I see you out of town. The ladies will hit you up if they had any interest in you. The only reason why they ain't hitting you up is because of the circle that you hang around, gang. You may not talk, but she know your boys do. She know your baby mama. Don't none of that shit matters whenever you are out of town, nigga. So what I'm trying to tell you, when your girl be going on these girl trips, I'm not the only one. She meet up with a type of nigga like me. When she go to concerts with a homegirl, she meets up with niggas like me. Whenever she go out of town to the club with her homegirls, she come to niggas like me. Whenever he doing a show, celebrities, I want to expose them, they come to me. You understand? And listen to how your life go. This is exactly how my life goes, you guys. I'm not bragging. I'm just telling you the power of an out-of-town nigga. Now, not only is you one, you're still winning because you're the new face. I am six foot tall, six, I'm sorry, six, six tall, literally six, six tall. Look at me. I'm all out the camera. I'm six, six tall, a big old nigga in shape, got my own everything, my own money, my own cars, my own cribs. The chicks been wanting me. I was just too local. So now all the chicks up here and beep and all the county surrounding beep, not only is it 7,000 new women coming at you? You got all the old ones that you couldn't get before coming at you. This is exactly how my life looked. Ugh. Damn, 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 damn. Uh, she all right. Knock her off. She, uh, I ignore her. Now, she bad. Oh, she bad. Oh, shit, she tough. Mm, I pick and choose. Then whoever I feel like I want, blah, 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 put in their credentials, say the number, blah, 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 blah. This is exactly how my life works. Wake up in the morning. Ugh. I'm out of town, nigga. I turn my phone on Do Not Disturb, so at 6.30 in the morning when it go off Do Not Disturb, I get all type of messages. It's at least 15 new bitches, uh, at least five old bitches, and 10 current bitches. It be so many bitches that I be like, what the hell? I got to get this game to somebody. Time is money. I don't got time to play. So I sit back. I say, uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh, yeah. I don't do no FaceTiming. I don't do no talking. I really don't do none of that. You don't have to do that when you the man. When you are out of town, nigga, man. I'm trying to tell you. But a lot of you guys, y'all in the hood. Y'all represent y'all hood, hood. Y'all hood, blood. Y'all represent y'all hood, paru, crib. Y'all represent y'all hood. Y'all want to leave. You know how much pussy you missing out on? So be an out of town, nigga. It's a win-win. You got new pussy coming at you. Old new pussy coming at you and old pussy coming at you. Pussy steady coming at you. Now, you can't move out of town into a raggedy spot. Move out of town with no car, no money, and be a bum. Now, you got to have something going. That's why you have to be on your purpose. But with that said, I ain't going to keep talking y'all to death. The last video y'all going to see pop up on the screen if it ain't already popped up yet. Is my last related video to this video. Y'all click. Y'all go check out the playlist. Also, the subscribe button is in the corner. I love each and every one of y'all. Y'all go ahead and subscribe. You ain't subscribed. Share this to somebody and become an out-of-town nigga. Leave your comfort zone. Leave your comfort zone. Become an out-of-town nigga. For real, for real. But with all that said, I'll holler, gang.